In our previous episodes, we shared a project of a modern Malay house with a rousing story and its design influence in connecting with nature. Due to its high volume of response, we decided to feature another mesmerizing project that tucks peacefully in the hills of Jandabai. Jandabai is situated in the rainforest reserve of Bentong, just 40 minutes' drive from the heart of Kuala Lumpur. It is also a moderate distance away from the more popular Genting Highlands. Over the years, numerous hotels, chalets, resorts have mushroomed at this location. However, it still maintains a sense of seclusion, surrounded by tropical trees and its cooling atmosphere. My name is Alex Lee, and today's episode on Design Seeds, we will be featuring an enticing episode that covers an initial warehouse that has been converted into a modern tropical villa. The 43,000 square feet built-up property was named after the owner Nadia herself. Villa Nadia is designed in two separate buildings with a steel bridge that spans across the centre courtyard connecting both the buildings. When you have a property of such a size and separated as two buildings, wouldn't your Wi-Fi network be a concern? This episode is sponsored by ASUS. The ASUS Zen Wi-Fi, which is an award-winning mesh Wi-Fi system awarded by the world's top tech media, CNET, PCMag, and also the small net builder for its best mesh Wi-Fi system. Aren't you curious to find out what's inside this 43,000 square feet villa in the forest? Let's get to it. I've always enjoyed being close to nature, listening to the sound of nature, breathing in the cooling atmosphere. It reminisces my childhood upbringings. The initial intent was to have the plot of land built as a storage warehouse. But when the steel framework of the architecture was up, it framed the perfect view of the Lentang Forest Mountain. During that site visit, uh, it got me to re-evaluate my decision and that was when I decided to convert the warehouse into a getaway retreat. Separated into two buildings with a perforated steel bridge floating amidst the courtyard of the two-story tall leopard trees, the left wing, which is called the glass house, and the right wing, named as Kama. The glass house consists of a double volume living and dining space that is surrounded by a two story tall, full height glass that makes the entire space feel like a dwelling in the center of the forest. With a picturesque view of the Lentang Mountain and a private infinity pool as a mesmerizing foreground. The moment you set foot into the glass house, the captivating fondness of being connected to nature invites your warm arrival. I host my family and friends quite often here. I travel a lot to Bali and when I'm away, I lease the villa out for private events and gatherings. But when my family and I come here in a smaller group, we enjoy the Kamar wing alone as a private dwelling. The Kamar wing is a smaller compact version of the glass house. In Indonesia, Kamar means bedroom. And this compact wing holds five bedrooms, a kitchen and two living halls a formal living on the ground floor and a family living on the first floor. Every window view effortlessly gets a picturesque view of the outdoors, be it from the bedroom or the bathrooms or even the staircase and kitchen. The house is literally cocooned by nature.
Whilst living in an almost secluded venue, it is important to always stay connected. For the size of this property, we chose the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi XD6 series. The ASUS AI Mesh is the ultimate home Wi-Fi solution that lets you enjoy a stable, seamless and secure wireless connection anywhere in your home. Even stepping out to the pool area, we didn't even struggle to stay connected. Moving from one building to another, we get to enjoy a fluent and uninterrupted network connection, not disrupting your video and Zoom calls. So what makes it faster than the usual Wi-Fi mesh system? The Zen Wi-Fi XT6 comes equipped with the Wi-Fi 6 technology that makes it 2.2 times faster than the usual Wi-Fi 5 routers which makes it the perfect pair for ones who enjoy online streaming in 8K quality. Stay till the end of this episode to stand a chance to win yourself a Zen Wi-Fi XD6 Mesh Wi-Fi set. The architecture was designed cleverly to encourage fluent cross ventilation and hinder heat from warming up the interior. The cascading landscape acts as a large opening that funnels the natural breeze to circulate through the villa. Another factor that brings down the temperature of the air before entering the villa is the presence of the swimming pool that spans across the length of the glasshouse. The leopard trees in the center courtyard screens the direct sunlight from penetrating into the glass house and at the same time creating a natural shade for the courtyard sitting area. The creepers at the front facade is not just for aesthetic reasons. It does create an impactful statement for both interior and exterior design but its main purpose is to hinder heat from penetrating into the glass house. Set four feet away from the glass house, this design allows for the cross ventilation to disperse heat before it enters the premises. Connected to the open floor plan, a fully equipped kitchen and bar makes the villa complete. The kitchen bar is designed with dual heights, an extension of the worktop space for food preparations, an extended seating area for dining. To cater for large parties, storage cabinets and kitchenware may be insufficient. Hanging steel racks for the pots and pans to be stored away and with perforated steel sheets at the base allows for additional hooks to be simply added. There are three guest rooms allocated in the glass house. The one that would be perfect for hosting guests sits on the ground level. It steps out directly to the swimming pool with timber decking area that allows you to enjoy beauty of the nature at its best. Definitely an impressive recollection that your guests would always be reminded of. Waking up in the master suite to a view of the tall leopard tree and the other side, a full height window that takes the full advantage of the view overseeing the double volume living hall. The perforated bridge that links the two houses together feels almost unnoticeable looking out from the bedroom. This allows for better visibility of the open space and creating an exhilarating feeling as it's floating in mid-air. The designers wanted a bridge to link both the bedroom floors together, but with the intent of having a bridge that blends in with the greens. It is inspiring to see how nature amalgamates with architecture. Half a building constructed with steel and glass, and the other half built with bricks and concrete. The feature facade creepers that overthrows the facade creating a strong influence to the characteristics of the architecture. Given the option, would you prefer living in the forest, living in the beach or living in the city? 
share your comments on the comment column below. Let us know your preference. If you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe to our channel and click on that notification bell to stay in the loop of more compelling episodes. Follow us on Instagram to stand a chance to win a set of the award-winning Asus Zen Wi-Fi XD6 Wi-Fi series. My name is Alex Lee and I am from Design Seat. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.